Hey, this is Rob Chadwick with ADL. This is just another uh, quick uh, dev shot of the Terrain engine. Um, actually, no different technology here. I've just put together a different example that I wanted to record. Uh, so I'm in the sandbox. I've got the world loaded up. Uh, this one's actually available under Example Terrain Mars. Uh, you'll find it on the Examples page, which is new. Um, well, let me hit F11 and then hide all my GUI, GUI tools here, and I'll fly around a little bit. Um, the uh, you know you can see there's some craters and and things the the height map here's a crater height map I found doesn't actually have a lot of features in it a lot of it ends up looking like kind of random noise which which isn't great but there is this kind of cool mountain here with uh, this big crater in it so let's fly in and we'll see one of the normal maps so one of the normal map uh, uh, levels because there's four of them has um, what looks like some craters in here but you know the art is is so so it's uh, it's okay it's not perfect. Um, I would like it to be more obviously covered in craters. Here as we get closer you'll see the highest detail level kind of come in. Um, there's my avatar sitting there on the terrain. I'm just going to leave her alone and fly off down the mountainside here. Look over some of this. I think here's a crater. You can see there's a whole bunch of like circular features in the terrain from the height map, but uh, it's just, you know, by the time you get down here it all looks just random and noisy and it doesn't look like anything in particular. I'm not really sure what to do about that other than just try again on the artwork. These two normal maps blend together really nicely with the kind of stony rock here and here. And then the really smaller kind of broken up bits of ground. Um, those blend really nicely. You can almost barely see the seam. There's not a lot out here to see. Let's just go up and over this mountain and see if there's anything up here. I, um, I like the red texture as it blends in at certain flat places. Um, again, I you know I spent about an hour in Photoshop trying to make um, the mix map that defines where the kind of red dirt goes. And where the uh, where the rock goes, meaningful, you know. But um, this whole thing ends up being a lot more just kind of noisy than I would have liked. It just looks all random. Here's a here's some kind of circular indention. Look, there's even a little I don't know what you call that little mound in the middle. <laughs> I think if we go out over this really wide area of land, there's another mountain. You can see it in the in the fog out there. I do really like this one particular normal map. I think it works really nicely. It turns out that it had a little error in the shader that was causing one of the uh, the three um, triplanar maps to to generate normals that were flipped because the tangent space uh, calculation was wrong. Um, but now that they're flipped correctly, um, the normal map really goes a long way. I'm pretty happy with it. Well, anyway, there you go. I think it could be better, but uh, not too shabby.